Sire. What is it? They've breached the gates. When you think of strategy games, you probably think of long, drawn-out, often boring bouts of gaming that leave you wanting more. Circle Empires Rivals is an absolutely stunning game with all the strategy and virtually none of the weight. Whether you only have a few minutes or you've got a whole day to spend farming for resources and building up your army, Circle Empires Rivals has a game mode for you. Watching a million tiny soldiers duke it out with ravaging monsters or barbarians has never been more fun. Circle Empires Rivals is a real-time strategy game along the lines of Halo Wars or Northgard. Your empire begins on a small circle with limited resources, and you have to outmaneuver and outwit your neighboring opponents, taking over circle after circle. There are plenty of game modes to choose from, but the fundamental aspect to the game is this. Don't lose your circle. Unlike Civilization, Circle Empires Rivals requires consistent management to ensure victory. The timer never stops, and you don't get turns. Instead, each moment you have to choose what your troops do, where they should go, and when to attack. This level of strategy will keep you on your toes whether you're playing against AI or you have a real-life person taking forever to hit next turn. I couldn't stand playing Civilization because the gameplay would go into all hours of the night, but Circle Empire's Rivals is fast-paced and you don't have to wait minutes at a time for your opponent to take their turn. The gameplay is simplistic in nature without feeling dumbed down. You collect resources, use them to buy troops or upgrades to your circle, and attempt to dominate the rest of the circle kingdoms before they dominate you. The developers left a lot to choose in terms of game modes, but the most notable are Full Conquest, Imperial Conflict, and Stop the Army. Full Conquest is fairly straightforward. You have a circle, and that's really not enough. All of them is more like it. So you rack up resources, stack hundreds of troops on top of one another, and you don't stop until you get what you want. Imperial Conflict is a bit different. Instead of taking circles from varying tribes like monsters, barbarians, and rival kingdoms, you have to go up against other rival empires vying for control of the circles that are still controlled by monsters, barbarians, and rival kingdoms. Still, the AI controlling the empire is a bit more strategic, and they truly grow alongside you in an effort to overwhelm your kingdom. It requires way more attention to detail while playing, which is always better when playing a strategy game. In this one, your goal is the same, except you have a ticking time bomb getting ready to annihilate you and everyone you love. The monster army approaches and you have to rally the troops and get ready for an epic Lord of the Rings level smackdown at the end of the game. While playing through all the game modes in a wide range of difficulties and map sizes is fun, that won't be the only choice you'll have to make before games start. Circle Empire's Rivals has plenty of leaders to choose from that truly feel different. The buffs and focuses of each leader will make you feel like you are playing a new game each time, and your strategy has to evolve. This keeps it feeling fresh as you continue to learn and adapt to each game mode and after each loss. Although the game itself is cheap, the gameplay is expansive and won't leave you wanting more. Unlike its predecessor, Circle Empire's Rivals includes a multiplayer installment. Whether you have friends or you have to jump into the endless stream of new games popping up, there will always be another co-op adventure or rivalry to be had. Playing against AI is a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but there's something so satisfying about taking your friends' precious circles away from them and hearing them cry in Discord. Even better, getting your butt handed to you every time you jump in with a bunch of random players will keep you striving for strategic greatness, and that truly never gets boring. This is also a great time for me to plug the GamerKit's new Discord server. If you're looking for an amazing community of gamers, then look no further. We have everything you need right here. The most intense feeling that this game delivers is during combat. This is not only a numbers game, and you have to put real strategy into the troops you deploy when and where. Sure, having 100k strength won't hurt, but don't think any battle is in the bag before it's truly over. Many times I thought I'd win, and suddenly my troops were wiped out. All those resources wasted, and my army decimated. 
You'll need both strategy and timing to fend off the incoming waves of enemies while simultaneously trying to control as many circles as possible. Sometimes you're on the attack, others you're defending your territory with your life. One thing's for certain, watching hundreds of soldiers and monsters clash on the battlefield is so freaking cool. I won't play games that don't have options. Single player stories are great, but my style is showing off my strategic power and pulling off some big brain plays to outwit my opponent. Simply amassing an army isn't enough to win in Circle Empire's rivals, and the varying mechanics keep me on my toes, always having me think about what my next moves will be. The game stays interesting from beginning to end. I mean, just look at this intense focus. Okay, it's time for everyone's favorite wheel. Oh, um, not that wheel. I'm talking about the wheel of reliability. Yeah, it's not as cool as the other one, but hey, it tells you if you should buy the game, so listen close. Circle Empire's Rivals is definitely worth the investment in both time and money. The gameplay is pretty expansive and also has an optional DLC that doubles the amount of content. I didn't find myself bored and I will definitely be playing this game for fun on my own time. Usually when I do these reviews, I never touch the games again. Looking at you, Pumpkin Jack. But I snuck a few games of Circle Empire's Rivals, forgetting to record, and I was totally cool with it. I loved the game, and it's now in my go-to library right on my desktop, but please don't judge me for the clutter. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot. Please smash that like and subscribe or else my entire legion of troops will bust down your door and... Okay, maybe that won't happen. But definitely subscribe because you won't want to miss any more content from the Gamer Kit. As always, I'm Alden and remember to game on.